totally going to support, look at that, made in the USA. Dude, this is the pillow? What's wrong with it? Look at it, Maybe you're supposed to like double, double up on the pillow. Is there any instructions? I don't know. It's premium. Oh, what is that? Oh, okay. All okay. oh, right, that makes okay. Has it been 15 minutes? Yes. Check the pillows. They grew with the Gajio pillow. I think this is like the first time that we've worked with the door open because it's finally warmer outside than it is in here. Look at the views. And the sun, of course, look at the sun. So there's a fun thing and look at Matt, whoa. Tim and I were brainstorming when we were on Kodiak, how could we efficiently do these pockets for our knee bracing. Um, and how we used to do it is this chisel and it would be this little cup from our plunge saw uh, mortiser. And it would take forever to use a chisel to chisel down and then chisel the whole entire bottom to get our chisel to fit in here. And what we ended up doing is getting this router bit. Uh, it's made for CNC machines, but we kind of made it work. Um, as you can it's see, a big one. Yeah, as you can see, the knife blade only goes down to right about there, and we need a four-inch throat. Uh, but that's okay. We we ended up using this stuff that where you see the black, the stem as a guide. And what we did is just drop this guy in here, and that gives us our depth four inches, depending on which reference adjacent side where you go off of for these pockets. And what what we do is is we take this and we router out this pocket. So what took me two hours to do with a chisel, now takes me 30 minutes to do with the router. Smooth operator. <laughs> so we uh, started a new piece today. We got the two of them, the E-Furlins. So they go on the middle bends, so right here. Red means we've already got it done, so I pulled one of the pieces out. So that's what we were making today. We made two of these. They've got a, a butt joint here on that side, a butt joint here, and then they've got a knee brace pocket underneath. So that's kind of the joint we were working with today, and the two knee braces are right there, and that piece goes right back. Sometimes things don't go according to plan. This is, or was, we started gluing it, uh, a spot where our timber got dinged during trans transportation. During transportation, which is gonna come in a later episode to why we had to transport our timbers from one location to another. Uh, but what we ended up doing is gluing, this was a big crack and it went down pretty deep. We glued it all, let it sit for three days. And now instead of having it look like a broken timber, we're taking it and we're, first we're chiseling it down, giving it some sort of a rough natural shape. Somebody's like, then, no, I don't want to do it, why? And then, and then we're taking this sander disc um, and- It's just part of the bander. What's that? No, I don't want to do it. Taking this disc and filing this down and giving it a really natural kind of flowy feel. So when you're looking at it, in the, in the barn, it doesn't look like, oh, that's a jagged 
something damaged, but it actually looks like part of the timber. So you fix it, you move on. There's only so much you can do to ensure quality, but things don't go according to plan. For the first person that spots this fix in the barn, once it's up, it's a special prize. So keep your eyes open and try to spot this damage in the finished barn once it's filled. It's like looking for a needle in a haystack. There's gonna be 208 sticks of timber. Good luck. You know, Matt, I tried to do it with power tools, but you just can't beat using hand tools and doing it by hand. Everything I is just... I doing it with hand tools. Oh yeah, <laughs> well, <laughs> you've got a different story, but uh, so all this joinery... It's all about that saw. Right here, oh, from Japan. But yeah, this is all basically yeah, by hand. One plane, not a single bump on that. Yep, that so... That is neat, a dually. So when we get sick and tired of that view, you just step outside. And you get that view. I don't think we're meeting our sawdust quota. We've got four bags. I need more. I need we need, we need a, a bag and a half more. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna plane all night. By, by Saturday night. We have to have five bags. I have a client waiting for them. A few more rows added this week. Let's keep growing this pile. <laughs> 